Hey, what's up? This is your girl Diamond. So, let's talk about surrogate mothers and babies. Okay? <laughs> um, when you embark on this unique, wonderful, extraordinary journey of being transgender, you kind of come to peace with the idea that you probably won't have any children. Now, Unless you are one of those transgender women or men who don't fit the heteronormative in your transition. Because remember, there's a difference between sexual identity and sexual orientation. There are trans women who still like biological women. There are trans men who still like biological men. So when those two type of pairings come together biologically and physically, they can actually produce children. But if you are a trans woman like myself, whose transition fits the stereotypical heteronormative, um, I'm a trans woman and I like men. I cannot have children with a biological male. Now that I'm getting older and um, I'm in my 30s, <laughs> so, what are my options? Of course, you can adopt. Um, and that's fine because I feel like I have um, the qualities to be a good parent. And, you know, I've, I've parented before. Like, I, like you, if you've been at my, on my channel for a long time, I've had custody of my brother since I was 21 years old. Um, he's grown and in college now. But... Um, you know, if I've had the experience of parenting and having the responsibility of taking care of a child. Um, if you want to see the interview with me and my brother, I'll put the link here. Kind of tells you a little bit about our history. But adopting, you know, that's fine. I feel like that would be a fine thing. But I really, 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 really would want to see my genetics in my child. Now... I can go the old-fashioned way and beat up some pussy. <laughs> hmm. Or I can do a surrogate mother. I found that there are two types of surrogate mothers. There is the traditional surrogate mother, which is you take your sperm, you're a donor, and, and and you come together with her egg, the surrogate mother's egg, and she carries the child, blah, 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 blah. So it's your genes and the surrogate mother's genes, and you guys created a, create a baby, okay? The gestational surrogate mother is you take your genes and somebody else's egg, put them together outside of the womb, and when they come together, you place them in the surrogate mother. So the, the surrogate mother is only the carrier. You don't have any of her genes. It's you and the person that you decide want to have children. So say that there's a lesbian woman who wants to have children. Me and her could put our eggs together and put it in the surrogate mother and she carries it, and it's our our genes creating the child. She's just the carrier. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing because you have your genes, and both of you all have the solution of having a child without doing the um, big dive. <laughs> I wanted to know, you know, how much this stuff costs. So I'm researching costs, and usually it's between twenty thousand and twenty eight thousand. So, that's the amount that you would pay for a sex change. I don't want a sex change. That's not something that I want. So, it's, science is not in the place that I want it to be with that. So, therefore, the money that you would pay for that will go to a second mother and I have my child. So, that's probably going to be one of my goals within the next 10 years to do that. That's a very, very, very... amazing scientific thing that I can do in the process um, 
continuing my legacy. I used to imagine me running into one of these girls who, um, you know, these dumpster babies where they're having, they're having babies and throwing their babies in the dumpster. And I would just imagine me um, finding one of them and taking care of them <laughs> or finding one of her and finding one of the girls before they have the baby. I was like, well, you know what? You just give the baby to me. And I would love the baby, but it wasn't, it wouldn't have my genes. You know, and I would love the baby and take care of it because it's my baby. I'm getting it from birth. And, oh, my God. Oh, oh, you wanted to be in the video? <laughs> well, thank you for um, all of that. So, what was I had? See, you see the shit that you do? You see the type of shit? You just the guard in my same video, girl. So... Um, so I would take care of it, and I would love the child, and you know all that kind of stuff. But it wouldn't have my genes. I wouldn't be able to see my eyes or my lips, or you know whatever that came from me. I wouldn't be able to see that stuff in a child. So this solution, the gestational surrogacy, would be a wonderful solution to be able to have a child and um, you know see. Your genes, see if he looks like your mother or see if he looks like your grandmother or your father or that kind of stuff. I would really love to experience that. It's it's interesting, like, how a surrogate mother would want to do something like that. Like, just to allow her body to be used as a vessel to bless somebody else with a child who can't have it. You know, that's really interesting. So, this is your girl, Diamond. Um... Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I posted a lot of pictures yesterday. Um, follow me on Instagram and go through them and like whatever pictures you find interesting. I am Diamond Styles everywhere. D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S-T-Y-L-Z. Check me out. Um, go follow me because I'm more active on Facebook and um, Instagram and that kind of stuff. I'm not really active on Twitter. Sometimes. I sometimes post on Twitter. But um, definitely, if you talk to me on Twitter, I'll respond because I still check it. Um, anyway, this is your girl, Diamond. Tell me what you think about surrogacy. Have a great day.